Hey guys, my name is Fape, and welcome back to Dust in Elysian Tale. And I fixed the language. We are finally in English again. Very nice indeed. Um, I had to close the game though, so I had to replay just a little bit. I hope I did it all the same way. What about this time, guys? The the merchant actually worked. And I was able to buy uh, 10 lasagnas and I even calculated, I had some time, so I calculated which food item is the most health for the cheapest price and it is indeed a lasagna with um, the same... Look, up ahead, a village. You interrupted me, Dust. Um, with the same ratio like the wall chicken had. So lasagna is quite good actually. But look ahead, a village. All the way up here? Do you think it's that Moonblood camp Kane was talking about? I'm not sure if I would like that. No, it's something else. It's en enough talking. Let's get up there. Huh. Hopefully not of not one of General Gaius's um, institutions. Oh. There, there was a road here. I remember it before that day. That's interesting, so we got a little uh, dialogue in both directions. Uh, what will... Probably, there was probably the Moonblood um, camp maybe to the right, and to the left there's maybe the Gaius camp? We'll see. Halt! That doesn't sound inviting. Oh. What? No. Impossible! Yeah, that's once of uh, once one of those Gaius soldiers. I'm scared now. Cassius, what did you call me? Who are you? What are you doing in this place? Oh, I don't want to fight him. You, you were dead. No, no, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are, but you will not step any closer. Kill this thing. No. Hmm. Oh no, not more of those guys, and they are good. Uh, we need to eat stuff. Wow, look at how he... Oh, they can... Dust storm! Help me! Roast those guys! Whoa, they are good, they are good. Bam! To the ground! That's what you get for killing your... Maybe friend in another world? I don't know. Oh, I'm good. Oh, that guy almost killed me though. Why? Why destroy such a peaceful place? We didn't want any of this. Gus, what are you talking about? And who is Cassius? That's not... It's not my name. I'd remember it. I'd know it when I heard it. Are you sure about that, Dust? Oh, let's eat lasagna <laughs> to warm up in this cold heat, uh, in this cold out here. Now I'm scared what will lie ahead of us. More Gaius soldiers? What? Zaplik Village? I hope that's the right pronunciation. Zaplik Village. That looks kind of destroyed, doesn't it? Maybe it was the Moonblood camp after all. Oh. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. Mm-hmm. A year, actually. Oh, that guy started to remember things. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here one year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. That sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Ara, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, Dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. Mm, I'm not sure if I want that. Secrets are not uh, particularly nice usually. Let's see. Got a good. Oh! This house. Do you remember something, Dust? It might be Ginger's house. This is impossible. Yep, yeah, let's enter it. Why won't we? Looks like a kind of a Japanese house. Dust? How? Do you see now? But how, Ara? I don't understand. 
The answers lie above dust. Okay. Whoa, animated Ginger. scene. She was sleeping right here. On the night I came to say goodbye. But I hesitated. I didn't want to wake her. Didn't want her to worry about me. She couldn't know what I was about to do. Dust? What are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean you're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember now. Here's a face. But how? How can I have helped destroy this village, but be a victim of that same act? That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Who are you? And what the hell is going on here? I don't understand anything right now. Wow! Could you guys follow that? Okay, okay, let's let's calm down. We had a nice animated scene there, I really love that. Um, we have a third name now. We are not Dust, we are not Cassius, we are Mith Mithradir, or whatever he just called us. I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They are Jin's eyes. Is there another name for me? <laughs> they do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. Oh, I'm her brother? That's not good, I wanted to make out with her. Oh man, that sucks. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. The soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. Those bastards created me? No. I hope not. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. Black magic! I call black magic! I don't want to be an artificial created creature, I hate it! You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king, an act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village, murdered my friends and family. You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. What a dick I was. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? Don't call me thing! <laughs> oh, I'm so oh man, I'm just not a fifth created creature. How how bad is that? It's not possible. I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are Jin, yes, but you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. Mithrarin. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four names now. Awesome! <laughs> it keeps getting better. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday. That he would come back. But 
Could you really be him? Ginger, I don't know. I... I don't know. I'm not your brother. We can totally go on a date. <laughs> now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. Well, let's follow the list from top to bottom, I suppose. Who, or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin. He who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see, my people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all. And while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin. Just like you said, opposites. Exactly. Cassius was one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen. And Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. Ah, still black magic. Ah. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world, so we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. Oh man, that just sounds so wrong when they created me, that's... Oh. I don't feel comfortable with that story, I have to be honest with you guys. What do you think? I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. I don't like to have a defined purpose from anyone, I don't know, from any being. You say that, but in all cases you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought to save. I mean, would you like to hear that? You did exactly what we intended you to do. I don't like that. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. And now I'm here. Yes, now you are here. And we can finish this fight once and for all. That mm, doesn't sound good. Let's talk about Fuse. Who was Fuse? He said he was a Moonblood, but he looks nothing like you. Fuse. He was once a fine warrior and a close friend of Ginger's family. He would help transport goods between this village and our camp. After the village was destroyed, I guess he lost his mind. He was horribly disfigured after the attack. The only way he could survive was in a special suit of magical armor that I helped to construct. He demanded we attack General Gaius right away, but I would not hear any of it. He would have killed us all in the name of vengeance. We would not have stood a chance. When I refused to send our warriors into battle, he called me a coward, and vowed that he would destroy Gaius with, or without my help. I fear the very armor we made to save his life had corrupted his mind and body beyond repair. Poor guy. If only we could have gone through to him somehow. No, you're right to kill him. If he had remained alive, there's no telling what damage he could have done. Ginger is right. Fuse was beyond saving. For all our sakes, I hope the same is not true of the world he sought to protect. Uh, I hate those Moonbloods already, I can totally understand, Gaius. Look at all the black magic they use. This armor that corrupted Fuse's mind. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, but uh, I hope that he will be able to explain himself. 
How does the Blade of Ara fit into all this? What is it, exactly? It is one of the five blades of Elysium. Ancient weapons forged when our kind were many, and the way of the flameless light was commonplace. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? <laughs> a path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought, that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. So am I, Fidget. So am I. Surely, as Nimbat Sword Guardian, you studied the ancient doctrines. You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter. <laughs> <laughs> That's Fidget. You haven't answered my question. The blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure a balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. Hmm. I suppose I have no more questions. What's the plan now? I have no more questions. What now? You must join us in the Moonblood camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. I must. I don't like that guy. <laughs> that isn't anywhere near the Everdawn volcanoes, is it? Volcanoes! Awesome! They are one and the same, yes. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Volcanoes? Indeed. What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom. Oh, I know! How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or some place that doesn't explode <laughs> every ten minutes? <sighs> Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. Don't tell me about it. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the Blowy Up Mountains. Really, I'm serious. <laughs> Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. Uh. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you, really? Oh, dang it. That might be an empire important uh, decision for the story. So I am the soul of an innocent tempered with justice. I am Jin. I am a soul of power tempered with vengeance. I am Cassius. I don't like either of those guys. I want to be dust, I think. I want to be a whole new person that has nothing to do with any of this black magic stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm dust. I am. I. Uh... You see, you still haven't figured it out yet. Lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know. He told me that I'm two persons, Fidget. I'm not two persons. Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just. <sighs> if I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world. I need to know who I'm following, and why. Eh, are we? Is she breaking up with us? Is Fidget breaking up with us after our beautiful relationship we had going on? I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? Seriously, our relationship is something special, Fidget. I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. And that's who I want to be, Fidget. Fidget, please. I can't do this without you. Yep, I'm pretty sure I need your projectiles. <laughs> can you, uh... Can you repeat that? <laughs> I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry. I just... 
Nobody's ever said that to me before. Aww. Poor Fidget. And it won't be the last time, I assure you. <laughs> Are you ready, Mithrarin? Mithrarin. I never can pronounce this word. Mithrarin. I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. That sounds Goodbye, like dust. fun. We'll see you there. She called me dust. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm... A part of me is her brother, but we could ignore that part and still make out with her. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, we are finally back in control, guys. That was a really interesting episode, wasn't it? A lot of stuff became clear and unclear at the same time. <laughs> Ah, oh, definitely leave a comment guys and tell me what you think about that. Wow, that was amazing. So I hope you enjoyed anyways. If you liked it, please feel free to leave a like as always. And make sure to join me next time when we are gonna see volcanoes. <laughs> so have a nice day. Bye bye.